Today, we're going to take you on a hike to Observation Point, an incredible viewpoint that looks down into Utah's Zion Canyon. And we're going to take you the easy way instead of the route that has a 2,000 foot elevation gain. For those not familiar with Zion National Park, the hike to Observation Point offers a spectacular view down into the canyon from about 2,200 feet or 700 meters above. Here's a map of Southern Zion National Park. Let's zoom in to the area near Observation Point. The popular route to Observation Point starts at Weeping Rock Trailhead and takes you through a narrow slot canyon made of Utah's famous Navajo sandstone as you hike up to the ultimate place to look down into Zion Canyon. But you need to be in good physical condition to take that eight mile round trip hike that goes up almost half a mile vertically in just under three miles. So we put it on our list of hikes to do in the future. Well, we waited too long. In 2019, this rockfall occurred at the top of Cable Mountain, which is immediately above the Weeping Rock Trailhead. Obviously, the trailhead and trail are now closed and will probably remain closed through 2022. It's going to take a while to dig out from under all that dirt. Luckily, we know of another way to get to Observation Point so we don't have to wait. This alternate route to Observation Point is not only available now, but it's also a much easier hike. This route starts roughly at the same elevation as Observation Point itself, so there's no hiking up that vertical half mile like the other trail, and it's only six miles round trip instead of eight. That sounds a lot better to us. Another advantage about hiking to Observation Point this way is that you can avoid the challenges of getting to the Weeping Rock Trailhead. If you've watched our video about how to access Zion Canyon in 2020 during the COVID crisis, you'll understand what those challenges are. As seen in our other videos, we use a navigational tool called Gaia GPS. Not only will it help you get to the trailhead, it will also help you find points of interest along the trail, such as the various side canyons. If you'd like to take advantage of this tool, we've created a GPX file for this trip too. Follow the link provided at the end of this video or below in the description to download the GPX file that covers points of interest along this trip as well as a discount code to purchase Gaia GPS. This hike starts at what's called the East Mesa Trailhead, which can be found on most maps. Do not attempt to drive to the trailhead if the ground is wet, such as after a recent rainstorm or if the snow is melting. Muddy roads here are impossible to navigate and even four-wheel drive vehicles are useless. Check with the visitor center in Zion National Park to make sure the road is not muddy. Here's how to get to the trailhead to start the hike. First, Get to the east side of Zion using Highway 9. This means exiting the park through the east entrance or, if coming from the east, driving Highway 9 westbound from Highway 89. Next, find the paved North Fork County Road and head north. It's located about two and a half miles from the east entrance. Continue on North Fork County Road for 5.2 miles. Next, look for signs to Zion Ponderosa Ranch Resort and turn left onto the dirt road. Now on the dirt road, follow it for about three miles. Look for signs pointing to Observation Point. Don't follow the ones for the Cable Mountain Trailhead. You'll reach the trailhead at the end of the road. If you use Google Maps to navigate, 
you can search for East Mesa Trailhead and navigate to that point. Once at the trailhead, pass through the fence and you'll see a sign explaining the hike to Observation Point. Along the hike, there are overlooks into two side canyons. Be sure not to miss these overlooks. As with many of our other video tours, at the end, we'll use Google Earth to provide a summary of the trip to give you a better understanding of the entire hike. Are you ready? Okay, let's start hiking and happy exploring!
If you enjoy the beautiful and unique landscapes of Utah or the Southwest in general, check out our sister website. It offers similar photography to what you're watching in our virtual video tours. That website is snapshotswest.com. You'll find a collection of high quality images as well as stock images all taken during our travels across the Southwest. When you go to our website, at the top, click on Galleries to browse through the different collections of images or click on Stock to view the categories of stock imagery. All right, on to our hike summary using Google Earth.